Morning traders. So how do we trade the Aussie today? Well, the first thing I just want to highlight is that we are in a daily range, okay? So that is our range at the current moment in time. There are two levels that I am interested in. The first one is this 200-day EMA, okay, which is pretty much uh, almost in the middle of the, um, the range. And the second thing that I am interested in is this retracement level here, which is the 76.2 retracement. Okay, so now what I'm looking for is uh, either a new high above this level to happen, which will allow us to target the top of the range, um, or alternatively it is a retracement and we are pulling the downside. So the oscillators have crossed over and pointed to the upside, which is indicating we have um, some up upward momentum to happen, but uh, this could be a retracement. Okay, so let's just get down to a four hour. And um, there are a couple of things on the four hours. So the first thing is we have a high, lower high, lower high, and another lower high forming. Okay, oscillator is starting to group to the top, which is indicating a move to the downside. Okay, remember, not a move to come and crash through the bottom here and fall to the to zero really just a, a move to the downside which could be um, come and close this gap uh, it could be just a retracement of this upward move before another move up which would then uh, break the, the top here okay so basically we'll be busy with a consolidation move this was the first move up one move down one move up so, and um, do we have a second push down which would be the most logical thing right now okay so you'll notice that the 200 EMA on the 4-hour is in the same area as the daily. And there are satellites here. You can see there was something going on here. So uh, there is a, a bit of action that we should expect in this area. Um, let's just get down to the hour. So the hour is pretty interesting. So first things first. Yesterday's call of the short based on... This uh, was correct, that was a target, and then looking for the long on this area, and there was your entry, or your signal bar, which indicated the long. On the lowest time frame, you'll have picked it up. So you can see the 200 EMA played a role here as well, on the hour. So what we have at the moment is pretty much a similar setup. Okay. And remember, we've got two highs previously, a lower high, another lower high. So this measured move of this wedge break, so should the wedge break, we are looking for a target of around the bottom, just before the, the gap close, so the low of this bar here. Okay, so that's 53.70 roughly. Okay, so that's kind of the, the level that we're looking at. And then obviously the 200 EMA will be a profit-taking level. So that would be the first area that I would take some profit. Um, the next area that I would watch would be this day's high or this hour's high. Okay, so that's a, an inside tail. That would be the area that I'd watch. And then the last area would be the low here. Okay, should this level give, then we are looking for a gap close. Okay, so that's kind of um, the levels that I'm looking at. And let me just move this 200 daily EMA onto the one hour, and then you'll see the setup I'm looking at. Okay, so we did have a grouping of the oscillators here, and they're grouping again for a second time. No diversions or anything to write home about. So uh, my bias at the moment is that we are going to get some form of downside. Uh, could be just to test this 200 EMA before moving to the upside, or it could actually play out for the measured move to the downside. Okay, so those are the three targets. Target one, target two, target three, and a real big stretch target of this bottom gap close. 
Okay, what may happen is um, we, if we do find support here, that would turn this into a range. And then obviously we have a long setup here, which would be aiming to target the top of the range, potentially a break to come and close at the upper gap. So those are the two plays of the day. For, for me, the, um, the high probability trade is going to be a downward uh, trade, provided we break this trend line. Okay, now the break for me would have to come pretty much on the 12 minute. I want a 12 minute candle that closes below this, which would indicate that we have some downward uh, pressure coming. Okay, so that's, uh, that's my trade of the day. And uh, this is tidying it up a little bit. And you can see, if I look at the 12 minute, you can see there is definitely an area of interest here. Um, and there's a pretty much this hasn't been closed. So this gap here, that gap there, has not been closed. So those are the areas of interest that I'll be looking at. Okay. Um, lastly, sorry, I didn't point this out, but if you look on the daily, uh, let's just tidy up. You'll notice that the 20 moving average and the five moving average are sort of come together and they intertwine. And you know, there is an indication, you know, normally when that happens, you can see they cross over all over the place and then they roll, okay? So a similar scenario, they are pointing to the upside, but it is a similar scenario. Um, the only part that contradicts that is that we do have a 20 and a 200 moving average crossover. So, Normally when your 20 is below your 200, you have downward pressure. And when your 20 is above your 200, you have upward pressure. Okay, a very pretty simple rule of thumb. So whatever time frame you're looking at, it's exactly the same. But anyway, so we'll have to wait and see what the open brings. Um, the this wedge may not break and it may just, uh, uh, may turn out that we are in a a potential channel. Okay, so two scenarios. Um, this trend line will have to break for the downward pressure, otherwise it's uh, stay with the trend and you're long with the trend. Hope it helps guys. Um, stay safe, keep our stops tight and enjoy the day. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers man.